Hey girlfriends, it's Kim Barnes Waterman here on Wednesday where we pray out loud. Okay, here's what I've been thinking about the last few days. I've been thinking that everything we read in the Word of God, everything God speaks to us is a promise. It's a guarantee. This has just been kind of seeping into my brain little by little. You know, on the horizontal, our relationships with people, right? What happens is, is everything people say to us a promise or a guarantee? Well, it doesn't work like that. It probably should. You know, meet me for dinner uh, at six o'clock, okay? Wait, uh, be sure you're there by six. Okay, promise me you're going to be there by six o'clock. All right now, pinky swear, because we need to have the promise. We need to have the person up their word and make it a promise. But we never have to have God up his word and make it a promise. Everything God says to us in his word is an automatic promise promise. God, it says, is not a man that he should lie. Okay. That's why we have the pinky swear thing in this life because you got a pinky swear that you're going to do it. Right. But God, we don't have to pinky swear with God. Everything he says is a promise. It says that he holds, God holds his word higher than his own name. It's so valuable to him. The things that he tells us in his word, he holds higher than his own name and that he watches over his word to perform it. You know, on this earth level, sometimes we take God's word and his promises a little nonchalantly, but I don't want to live like that this holiday season. I want to be seeped when the word of God and everything he says to me is a promise. It's a guarantee in Jesus name. God, we are just looking for you and we want to be more in tune with your promises, God. We want to know that they are for us. Help us to remember, God, <coughs> that you are not a man that you should lie, that our relationships on this level, they're not the same as our relationship with you. God, when you speak, you mean it. You don't, you don't take back. You don't change your mind. And we don't have to wait to pinky swear with you, God, because everything you say, you watch over to do in Jesus' name. All right, girlfriends, have a great rest of your week. Just bask in the promises of God for you. And Lord willing, I will see you on Friday.